Okay, so I have the uh, book cloth worked down onto the uh, boards. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to place the book in. And, uh, of course, I'm going to call this the head and check in my book to find the head. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this in here where the spine of the book is just touching the edge of my back piece here, okay? And I'm looking to make the gap, the visible portion, all the way around, all even. And it should be, if we uh, done our job correctly, about an eighth of an inch. And then I'm just going to hold this in place and pull the cover over just like that and just kind of check it all the way around. So mine's a little bit off. It's okay though because I know what happened. My, uh, my uh, what you call it, my board slid a little bit on me when I was gluing and because uh, I was in a hurry. Okay, so once, once you see how it's going to fit in there, it's time to glue this up. So what I'm going to do is I want to lay this back, this cover back right here, and I'm going to lift one of the fly pages, right? And in the fly page, I'm going to put in a piece of scrap, just like that, paper because I want to cover this here with uh, paste. So, get our paste here. And I want to get under this mull, just like so, right? Get on the mull, just like this. I'm always brushing off the paper. It keeps you from getting paste underneath the fly leaf and ruining it. And I just want to get a thin coat of paste here, just like so. Alright, now I'm going to take the cover, and I'm going to, well, I'll tell you what, let's pull this piece of paper out, and we'll take the cover, and Lay that down on here, right where it needs to be. Rubber down. Okay. And, you know, probably could have went back there a little bit more, but you know, once you set it down, you're done. <laughs> So, all right, let's do the same thing here to the other side. And you know, the paste will cause paper uh, to stretch too, So, but we can come back and trim it up a little bit. So let's do this one. Get our waste page in there. and bring this down just like so okay so that's stuck down so now what we want to do is uh, rub this end paper down right we want to make sure it's well stuck you want to be gentle with it because it is quite wet. And you see it's come over here a little far, but we can trim that up. Okay. Thank you. 
what's happened is that the uh, paper's gotten moist or wet with the paste and it's stretched. So, now, let's work this edge down right here. like that. You're just going to have to work it. But you see we're almost there. Alright, so now would be a good time to trim the end sheets a little bit if they've stretched on you, which see mine has. So. I'm just going to very gently run the knife along this paper. I don't want to cut through my cloth, obviously. All right. All right. See, that was simple. And right, we'll do the same thing to the other side. Being gentle not to cut through the cloth. All right. Now the last thing I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to give this a little bit of a press. But I like to take a couple pieces of uh, parchment paper because parchment paper is pretty much or wax paper would work. And I'm just going to put it right under the cover here, like so. Okay. We'll do the same thing over here. All right. Now is a good time to put it under some weight. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay that on there. And if you got some other weight to put on there, that'd be good. And I'm going to leave the spine. Let me change this around. I want to get some weight on the book, right? So I've got these in here to keep the moisture from penetrating through. And I want to lay my weights on there so that you know, my spine is kind of exposed like that. And, and I'm going to get some, just get some weight on there. And then while this is sort of pressing a little bit, I'm just going to continue to work this around a little bit. You see where I'm trying to get those end papers and stuff really seated in there good. I'll let this set for a couple minutes and I'll flip it over and... And just going to general, generally rub around on it, you know, to neaten it up. And uh, I'll bring you right back. Okay, guys, the book's been under here, uh, under some weight for a little while. I'm pulling my rubbing down papers out. You can see how it's blocked the moisture. So, really... There you have it. It's uh, it's done. Now this book is still a little damp, right? But it's a perfectly functional book. Um, all bound up. And it's ready to go in the shop. So, uh, again, look, I, want, I know I rushed through this and I was just trying to get this out. Um, and I'm kind of in cramped con uh, quarters here. You know, if you uh, guys do this, just take your time. Okay? And uh, everything will come out just fine. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just practice makes perfect. Mine aren't perfect. I don't pretend to, that mine are perfect or anything else, but uh, I, uh, I do enjoy it, and, and it does give you something physical and tangible to hold on to. 
and uh, so that's that. So all right, so this is pretty much the end of this series. Um, I may do some uh, at, a, at a later time, uh, showing how to uh, sew signatures uh, together to make a book. Um, maybe talk about uh, trimming text blocks and things like that. But really, only if you guys are interested. Uh, these have been typically pretty low view videos, so I'm not sure that there's that much interest. But I have a few of my subscribers that I would do for it, uh, regardless if there was any other interest or not. So, again, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, please, uh, if you have questions, put it down in the uh, comment section below. And uh, if these are of any interest or you, or you think they might help some of your friends out or whatever, uh, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And uh, other than that, have a blessed day.